Hey kindergarten, it's Miss Bank. Today we're going to do another subtraction lesson. Remember, subtraction is when you have a bigger group and you take some away and you're left with a smaller section. We're going to learn today the special symbol that tells us when we subtract. And it's called the minus sign. So get your math hats on and get ready for some math learning. We're going to use our math talk picture today, so I'm going to show it to you over the screen when I'm talking. All right, so if we're looking at our math talk, we see that there's five baby chicks and two baby chicks walked away. Now, there are only three left. We could use the minus sign to show us the story. So I'm going to go to my whiteboard and I remember that there were five baby chicks. But two of them walked away and there were three left over. Now, when we did addition, we learned that we used the equal sign to show us the answer. And we did the plus sign to show us that we were adding, but instead of adding, we're subtracting. So we're gonna use this special symbol called the minus sign. So now, this math sentence is five minus two equals three. That's like saying we had five baby chicks and we take away or subtract two and we're left with three baby chicks. So five minus two equals three. That's like saying five take away two equals three left over. Let's look back at our math talk now. I see that there is one cow in this picture. Let's pretend that the cow got up and left. So one cow was there, one cow left. If some cow is leaving, it's being taken away, we're subtracting it, so we use the minus sign. So now we have this math sentence. One take away one equals blank, or one minus one equals blank. Well, if we had one, and I'll make this a cow to make it easier. If we had one cow and he left, how many cows are left over? Zero cows. So one minus one equals zero. Let's do one more using our math talk picture. I see that there are two hens. And the hens decided to stay. So no hens, zero hens left. How many hens are still there? Since we're talking about subtracting, we have to use our minus sign. It's a small little line. So two minus zero equals blank. So I'm gonna draw two circles for our hens. Did any hens leave? No, we're taking away zero. So we're not taking any away. How many are left over? Two, very good. So two minus zero equals two, or two take away zero equals two. Remember, we're starting to use this straight line symbol to show us that we're taking away. Now it's time for you guys to practice your subtraction. You're gonna have a worksheet on your Seesaw page to do. So let's look first here. I have some balloons. How many balloons do I have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna write a five right here. Then since we're practicing subtraction, in this circle, I have to put that very special symbol called a minus sign. So now it says five minus, and this number was given to us, three. That means we're taking three balloons away. Let's pop three balloons. Pop, pop, pop. How many balloons are left? How many balloons are not popped? One, two. So now that I finished my math sentence, I have to practice saying my math sentence. Five minus three equals two. I could also say it, five take away three is two left over. Complete your worksheet and show me your answers. Bye guys.